So, Gigazor has gone into Tokyo from now on. If Gigazor rolls hits, it hits everybody outside of Tokyo, everyone not in Tokyo. People outside of Tokyo, from now on, if they roll hits, it directly hits the person in Tokyo. So Gigazor would take the damage. Um, that should be on a 10 for his heart. And Gigazor's on a 10 for his health as well. So this is where the game starts getting interesting, because now you've got to involve healing. Right, it's the King's turn. King is going for a victory point, a victory point win. Let's go. So, he's rolled a hit. Let's just give Gigazor a hit. And we've got two threes. I'll keep them as well. Mm, don't need the heart, because we haven't been hit yet. That was our second roll. We'll take the energy. Let's hope we roll a three. Nope. It's a second hit and a two. You notice we must take the dot. You can't choose to not have the dice for you. So, two hits towards the Gigazor. So he takes his card, he's been hit twice, he's on eight health. Two energy, because we're playing the modified rules. Didn't get my three threes, no victory points. So, because I've hit the Gigazor, the Gigazor now has the option to yield Tokyo. So he could scarp her from Tokyo because he's been attacked. Or he can choose to stay in Tokyo and try and get the victory points at the start of his next go. If you manage to stay in Tokyo for a complete round, you get two victory points stated on the board. If, if the king was to go into Tokyo, he would get one victory point for kicking Gigazor out. Right, uh, let's see. At the end of your turn, if you have the fewest victory points gained, no, we don't want that, we don't want to change a one. Plus two victory points, take two damage. Uh, Gigazor's gonna stay in, by the way. He's being aggressive, he's not gonna leave Tokyo. Um, so this one's gonna buy that. Cost me three. This is the card he's purchased, which is plus two victory points for a trade-off of two damage. We'll have that. It's a discard card, which means it gets discarded straight away. New card gets popped out. Two victory points. And two damage. So he's down to eight health, but he's on six victory points. It's the first to 20 victory points, wins the game. Uh, the new card does come out, Jet Fighters. This card, plus five, it's a five, it costs five, it's plus five victory points, take four damage, it's just basically double what we just did. Okay, <coughs> Gigas was gonna stay in, it's now. Cyber Bunny. Cyber Bunny's a bit of a carry, don't wanna hit anybody. Let's build energy. Build energy. Last roll, got, we've got to take whatever comes out. So she's hit, yeah, Cyberman is hit. Building my energy. Can't use the heart, because we're at 10 health. Can't use the three, because you, you need triples in order to use your victory points. So, six energy coming her way, his way. So Cyberman is rich with money now. So you also hit the Gigazor for one. So Gigazor takes another point of damage, down to seven health now. Um, Gigazor gets the option to yield Tokyo. It's going to stay in Tokyo, still got seven. Giga Bunny, uh, Cyber Bunny has two, four, six, eight energy. Eight energy. So we're going to buy that keeper for three. Flip the new card Poison Spit. When you deal damage to monsters, give them a poison counter. Monsters take one damage for each poison counter they have at the end of their turn. You can get rid of poison counters with hearts. The heart does not heal damage. So, with uh, Cyber Bunny's special keeper card, whenever a new card is revealed, you have the option of purchasing it as soon as it's revealed. So, because of that, we're going to take that one as well. With these modified rules, you can only have three keepers at any one time because you're, you, it makes you very rich with the modified rules. Gourmet, keep when scoring 1 1 1, gain 2 extra, so basically that gives you more victory points. You can score 3 victory points for rolling 1s and rolling 3s. Okay, Gigazor, we're back to him, he's still in Tokyo. Because he stayed in Tokyo for a complete round, it went all the way around the game, and back to him again, he gets 2 extra victory points.
He has a keeper card. You can always re-roll threes. Here he goes. Ooh, look at that. Hit, hit, hit. We'll take the energy that time. See if we can get hit. No. Okay, so that's two energy going to going to the Gigazor. Gives him six. Ooh, I can re-roll a three. With my keeper card. I can re-roll a three. More energy. Two more. That was a keeper giving me that. Four hits to everybody outside of Tokyo. Cyber Bunny goes down to six. The King goes down to four. Now, two, four, six, eight. Do -do 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 -do. Eight energy. Uh, gourmet, let's go for a victory points. I'm going to take the Gourmet, that's four. Points, out comes monster batteries. When you purchase this, put as many energy as you want on it from your reserve. Match this from the bank. At the start of each turn, take two energy off and add them to your reserve. When there are no energy left, discard this card. Okie dokie. It is now the king's turn. Four health, six victory points. The king has rolled. A hit, two hearts, let's heal up. We're outside of Tokyo, we can heal up. And we'll give him a hit inside Tokyo, just for being there. One, two, three, nope. Two more hearts, lovely. And an energy, okay. Two energy, we heal up. Four, we're back up to eight. And we also hit. The Gigazor for one, who's being cocky, sitting in Tokyo. The Gigazor says, no, I'm staying in Tokyo. It's going to be in super aggressive. That's that all done. Now the king gets an option to buy a card. He's only got three to spend. You can change one of your dice to a one each turn. No. Monster batteries, no. Jet fighters, no. I'm going to pay three. No, no, I'm not going to wipe the card, wipe the board. No. That's it, the king's just going to sit on his money. Okay, Cyber Bunny's go. Hits a six. Rolls. Yep. Giga's always asking for it staying in there. Gonna get hit three times. Hit four times. Heal at once. See if we can get another heart. Three. Okie dokie, doesn't do anything for us. So, sorry Bunny, didn't get any energy this go. Heals up once to seven. Hits the Gigazor four more times. The Gigazor is now down to two. Two life. Uh, that is it. The Gigazor says, no, I'm staying in. Being super aggressive, he's only got two life left, but hopefully the Gigas will roll some hearts on its next go. That's the end of this one's go because the Cyber Bunny has a keeper saying, the underdog, if you have the fewest victory points at the end of your go, gain a victory point. So, Cyber Bunny gets one. It's now the Gigazor's turn. Super aggressive Gigazor is in Tokyo. Meet heart. Oh no, Gigazor can't heal up. May have just made a mistake there. And I've actually done that in the game. Oh dear, we could be in trouble. We're getting a lot of victory points. I think I'm going to need energy in order to try and sweep the deck and buy a healing card. More victory points, and a two. So that is three. Four, five victory points. The triple gets you going, and then you add a single victory point for every card, every dice that comes up afterwards. So Gigazor scores three, four, five victory points, takes him up to 11 victory points. No energy, no healing, and forgot, 
that the gigazord was hit with venom, which means at the end at the end of the turn, he's going to take another damage down to one health. I think the gigazord is in trouble. Aggressive hasn't worked. <coughs> Now look at that, I forgot, I had a keeper card and I could have rolled. Rerolled all my threes. Never mind. Gigazor's go is over. Whoa, I've got four to spend, let's have a look. Three. You can change one of your dice to a one. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're moving on to the king, the monkey. One hit, get through the Gigazor. There we go. Gigazor's dead. One energy. Two energy, two hearts. Don't need it. Okay, four energy coming across because it's two per dice. Gigazor has been hit once. Gigazor is out of the game. Gone. The king moves into Tokyo. When you move into Tokyo, you take a victory point. Healed up twice to ten. Because you, you healed up before you went into Tokyo. And now, we have the opportunity to buy the cards. One, two, three, four, so let's sweep the deck. Let's get rid of these cards. Pay three to chuck them all in the bin and bring out three new ones. Armor. Extra head has come out. Extra head gives you an additional die to roll. So, put the extra head on. Telepath, spend one energy to get one extra reroll. Ignore damage when you when ignore damage that when that damage would only make you lose one. So the armor makes you if somebody just rolled one hit, you can ignore the one hit. Okie dokie. Kings in Tokyo. They are discarded because the Gigas were pushed too far and didn't make it. Um, the deck has been swept. What have we got? Four left armor. You may as well have that as a keeper. Let's move on. It is now. Cyberbunny go. We're down to two. Cyberbunny. Rolls. A hit. We'll take that because of the poison. And we'll heal up. We'll heal up once. Hmm. Last one. It's a second hit, second energy. So, Cyber Bunny heals at once. To eight. Hits the king twice. King is down to eight, because I think he was on ten. If she had hit the king once, he would have got away with it. And claims four energy. Didn't put a new card out, did we? There we go, Mimic. Let's you copy cards, that's a handy one as well. Okay, four energy. So, oh no, see? With the new rolls you can only have three keepers. So, the poison is handy. Because I hit the king, get to poison him. At the end of your turn, we are the lowest. I'm going to save my money as it is, so we get a victory point because we're behind on victory points. That's it. Um, the king's got eight health. Not going to yield Tokyo. I'm going to stay in there, which means I get two victory points. Goes up to ten.